Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve for the radius and the center of circles that passes through three points. Okay, so in this example, we have the three points 5, 9, 2, 4, and 6. So to solve this problem, we are going to use the general form of equation for circles. x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus n is equal to zero. Okay, so we will substitute the value of x and y okay, into our general form and then we are going to have three uh, equations with three unknowns. Okay, so let's start with 5, 9. So for 5, 9, we have Five squared plus nine squared plus five b plus nine e plus f is equal to zero. And then we just need to simplify this and put it in standard form. So this would be twenty-five plus eighty-one plus five b plus nine e plus f is equal to zero. So 25 plus 81, that would be 106. Okay, so if we put it on the right side, negative 106. Okay, so on the left side, we have 5D plus 9E plus N. Okay, so this would be our equation one. Okay, and then for the next point, we have another pair of X and Y, so we have two, four. 2, 4, okay. 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 2D plus 4E plus N is equal to 0. So this would be 4 plus 16, okay? That would give us negative 20, right? And then we will just copy the same values here so 2d plus 4e plus f okay so same values 2d plus 4e plus f okay this will serve as our second equation no? equation number two okay for the last point which is 10 6 10 6 we will have 10 squared plus 6 squared plus 10b plus 6d plus n is equal to 0. Okay. So this will be 100 plus 36 plus 10b plus 6e. F is equal to zero. 136 combined together and move to the right side will become negative 136. Okay, so 10 d plus 6 e plus f equals negative 136. This will serve as our equation three. So, we now have three equations. We just need to solve for the D and E and F values. Okay, so how do we get the values for D, E, and F? Here, we can use the uh, calculator, cash of class race. Okay, so all we have to do here is to input the coefficients and constants for each equation. So, let me... So this is what you will see if you just turn on your calculator. So just simply go to menu, okay, and then look for the function or equation, okay. So press equals, and then select one for simultaneous equations, 
and then here we are looking for D, E, and F. So that means we have three unknowns. So we will select three. Okay, so here you can see X, Y, and Z. So that means D, E, F will be represented by X, Y, and Z uh, respectively. No? So let's start with equation number one. We have five, nine, one, and then negative 106. So five, nine, for f, that's 1 beside the f, so 1. Okay, and then negative 106. Negative 106. And okay, so for each coefficient you input, you press N, uh, equals so that uh, it will be added to the equation. So for our equation 2, we have 2, 4, 1, negative 1. So 2, 4, 1 and then negative 20. For our equation 3, we have 10, uh, 6, 1, and then negative 1, 3, 6. Okay, so if we press equals, we get x. That value of x is equal to our value for d. So, um, d would be negative 12. Okay. You press equals one more time to get the e, negative 10. Okay. And then, one more time for f, which is for Okay, so now that we have the values for T, E, and F, we can write it in the general form. X squared plus Y squared minus 12X minus 10Y plus 44 equals 0. So here, we just need to do completing the square. Okay, you need to transform this to standard form. Okay. So how do we do that? We combine together or we group together those with X those with x group together we have x squared minus 12x okay and then those with y will be grouped together so we have y squared minus 10y okay and then we are going to put the 44 to the right side so minus 44 okay next step would be to get the coefficient of x and coefficient of y and then divide it by 2 okay so divide by 2 we will get negative 6. And then here, we will get negative 5. Okay. So, we are going to add negative 6 here on the left. Okay. So, negative 6 is squared. So, that would be x squared minus 12x plus negative 6 squared. Okay. That would be our perfect square trinomial. Okay, and then on the, uh, on the quantity for y, we have y squared minus 10y plus negative 5 squared. Okay. So on the right side, we have negative 44. Okay, since we added negative 6 squared on the left, we should add it also on the right side. Same thing with the negative 5 squared. Okay. So all we have to do now is to simplify this. Okay, so we can write this now as a square of a binomial. We will get x minus 6 squared, the quantity of x minus 6 squared, plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared. Okay, equals, simplify negative 44 plus 36 plus 25. Okay, so that would be, plus 36 plus 20. 
we get 7. Okay, so that means our center would be the center would be 6, 5. Okay, where we put our center. Okay, so let's just put it here. Center. 6, 5. Okay, and then radius is the square root of 70. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Till next time. Take care. Bye-bye.